basic idea. That... After days of mounting pressure, president of the University of Pennsylvania is now out. The Ivy League School Board of Trustee Chair writing in a letter that President Liz McGill has voluntarily tendered her resignation. During five hours of congressional testimony on Tuesday, it was just a momentary exchange that created a firestorm for the university head. I am asking, specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. If the speech becomes conduct, it can be harassment, yes. Conduct meaning committing the act of genocide? New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik pressed the presidents of Penn, Harvard, and MIT in a hearing about anti-Semitism on university campuses. McGill's failure to flatly reject calls for genocide resulted in widespread backlash, including from the Democratic governor of Pennsylvania. Leaders have a responsibility to speak and act with moral clarity, and Liz McGill failed to meet that simple test. Following the hearing, McGill attempted to clarify her remarks with this video. I was focused on our university's longstanding policies aligned with the U.S. Constitution, which say that speech alone is not punishable. I was not focused on, but I should have been, the irrefutable fact that a call for genocide of Jewish people is a call for some of the most terrible violence human beings can perpetrate. It's evil, plain and simple. But that video didn't quiet her critics. With some of the school's mega donors threatening to pull hundreds of millions of dollars. The trustees' letter to Penn's community today quoting McGill saying, It has been my privilege to serve as the president of this remarkable institution. George Solis is on Penn's campus tonight. George, what comes next? Yeah, was, yeah, according to that letter from the board chair, Liz McGill will remain here at Penn as a tenured faculty member, and in the coming days, plans will be announced for interim leadership here at Penn. Jose? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.